Okay, so it's been quite a long time since I did a video, and um, tonight what we're going to do is play a bit of Flight Simulator, which I've been quite into in recent weeks and months. Uh, and what I've learned over some years, years, weeks, months playing, is um, specifically how to fly the A320, which is a, a much bigger craft. Uh, when I played Flight Sim in the past, I was trying to more control a little single prop aircraft, but I've really gotten into the A320 recently, and uh, hopefully this will become more apparent why as we look to take off. So, let's say we're ready to fly, we are in the cockpit. Uh, we're ready to take off. So, uh, the flight path today is we are going from Liverpool. John Lennon Airport, flying south, heading over Shropshire, over Shrewsbury and Telford, Wolverhampton, and then leveling off somewhere around, uh, you know, east of Bristol, and then coming in over Reading and down into Heathrow. That's the flight path that I've already sort of pre planned out here. Um, right, so. There's a lot of stuff on board the uh, A320, a lot of buttons, and I don't know many of them at all. But I'll tell you what I've learned. I've learned that this, set this to VOR, seems to be a good idea, because that makes this map show where you need to go with the green line. Uh, we can also twist that, and that sort of zooms it out a little bit, which is useful. Um, here we've got some buttons in the middle, autopilot, auto throttle, and the altitude. So uh, what I can do here is I can set that I, I want to fly 13,000 feet. That's roughly the sort of cruising altitude I want to hit once I've taken off. And um, yeah, let's just go with that for now. So uh, everyone on board, please. Um, no smoking, put that light on, and seatbelts on now please. Thank you very much. We're going to be taking off from John Lennon, and we're expecting maybe a half an hour flight down to Heathrow. Okay, so at this point I'm going to switch to my X-Pad, X Xbox controller, and switch to an external view. Let's crank up the old engines. There we go, full engine power, at least the parking brakes, and we go off and down the other way. Get the cockpit view, it's a little bit scary I think, I prefer the external view for some of these um, more tricky situations, but let's, let's see where we are, okay. Airspeed down the bottom left, you can see it's increasing, once we get into the green zone we should be able to start to take off pull away from the runway. We're running out of runway here, but it's okay because we've got enough lift now to take off. There we go. Wonderful. Up into the sky and then immediately we can pull in the uh, landing gear and remove the flaps. The angle of the wings to hold So there we go. We're now at Leaving John Lennon Airport and heading currently west. Now, what we need to obviously start to do is increase altitude, start to pull up a little bit, but it's at this point where we can switch to the autopilot. So let's flip back to Easy seven two nine or two, please the acknowledge. Thingy, let's just Easy check my uh, uh, air traffic final. control. Yep, they're going to tell me to do something. Clear to land runway 27. Chance to reply. Yeah, Liverpool Tower, one tree frequency change. You can follow me if you like, just to give me some instructions. Okay, so now here, uh, this is the key thing. So we set 13,000 feet. Uh, we already have the plot mapped out with this green line, which I planned in before the flight. So the big thing we need to just do now is hit the autopilot button. Bang. As soon as I do that, plane look. So that's the bank round, and through the miracles of modern technology, it's going to automatically take us to that flight path. Over 
External view here, and there we go. Um, let's kill the engine a bit, it's a bit fast. But yeah, here we go, we're flying over Birkenhead, coming into North Wales. Um, that's fine, because the plane's automatically going to switch to the right heading to go south. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Liverpool approach Nick One Tree is type Airbus A20 and 8 miles east of Echo Golf Charlie Echo 5500 feet. Request flight following. Nick One Tree Liverpool approach. Squawk Tree 173. Squawk Tree 173, Nick One Tree. Actually hearing the um, air traffic one control, tree radar. Contact eight miles uh, which is a little bit just concerned about no anyway. Here are the clouds, there's some clouds, and the clouds are just getting so realistic. It really is a flight simulator, and the cloud simulation is fantastic. So... Uh, Roger, Nick, one tree. And we're just going to be heading south now. If we pull up the map here... You see, we are uh, this plane here. This plane here, and we're eventually going to pull down and uh, join that purple line, which is going to be our flight path to head south. To that. Liverpool approach, Nick one three five miles west of Howard, and request IFR okay. to Heathrow, ready to copy. So we're currently flying at five thousand. Nick one three feet. is clear to Heathrow Airport as filed. Squawk three one seven three. Oh, I can't hear. Squawk Tree One Seven Tree. I've got my setting here. Nick One Tree, read back. Correct. Radar like contact. Five thousand feet. Altimeter two nine zero decimal nine two. Turn right, heading one four zero five and maintain eleven thousand feet. Um, Turn right, heading one four zero climb and maintain eleven thousand feet. Nick One Tree. Maybe if I do that, Nick but I don't know if that's going to make any difference to my... I'm almost here. Good day. Oh, now I can hear. Okay. My knowledge hand off. Yes, I can just about hear the radio now. I hope that hasn't buggered up my... Uh, the volume of my speech on the video. I, it may have done, I don't know. Anyway, tune Manchester Centre. Manchester, Manchester Center, Nick One Tree is passing 5,000 feet, climbing 11,000 feet. Nick One Tree, Manchester Center, altimeter 29 okay. decimal minor. Two so we can just plan. sort of pan around the aircraft here. We are now on our way. Let's so pull away from Liverpool and head down over the Welsh coast, uh, Welsh border essentially. Manchester Centre, Nick One Tree requesting vector to next waypoint. As you can see here, it's just on right GPS plugin, so that's going to follow our plane now. We're going to just follow on down um, towards. Turn right, heading one four zero, Nick One Tree. Turn right, heading one forty. Well, we're, we're pretty much on that anyway, so that's that's fine, I think. So we can do a little bit of uh, flight spotting here. Flight spotting. Plane spotting. Sightseeing. Whilst we're up in the sky. I don't know much of these areas, but still. Uh, we will come across an area that we know pretty well quite soon. Uh, as we continue this flight. Now, we're still at 5,000 feet. I wanted to go to 13,000 feet, so let me switch to my cockpit view here. Like I say, I set it to 13,000 feet here, but it seems like nothing's happening yet. So, we can increase the vertical speed instead of manually sort of playing around with the joystick controller or, or the throttle. Make one tree, please stick expedite over here. climb 11,000 feet. Um, what we can do is say, right, I want to climb to 30,000 feet at a rate of. 2,000 feet per minute. I'll set that, hit the button, and bang, you can instantly see the plane now start to climb. And we can 
see here on the, the dashboard. We're up to 5,300, 5,400. We're starting to climb, so that's good. And once we get higher, we'll be able to go faster. So our current airspeed is sort of around 250 knots. Uh, once we get up to about 13,000 feet, we'll be able to go much faster. I think maybe. 120 knots maybe or maybe more so that's that's the purpose of getting higher in the sky is to go faster air traffic control what did you say please expedite your client to 11,000 feet okay so they're telling me actually now to do that so uh, my setting of 30,000 may be a bit high but you know air traffic control is saying go to 11,000 so let's just do that at this point uh, we're, we're getting pretty close now so um, let's have a look oops I just turned that dial I didn't mean to I don't think it did it naturally wrong um, like I say we're going up to 13,000 plus 20 we're currently at nearly 8,000 8, now because we're still climbing ok all good all good let's have a look out the window here uh, look at this it's cloudy, not too cloudy, and there's Turn Hill. I recognise the name Turn Hill. I couldn't tell you where it is, but it's not far from where we are right now. Switch to a normal camera view, and then switch to the external view. So here we go. Now let's have a look at this. Uh, we are approaching Shawbury. Shawbury Airport is there in the distance. Very beautiful. I set the time to be earlier on today. And, uh, well, it's just a phenomenal looking game. Turn hill over there to the west. Shawbury, we're coming up on it now, basically below us. And um, let's look at the map. I'm pretty sure that you know this is kind of the area where we're going to start to turn. Um, now, uh, uh, a couple of other things to notice now. Look, 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 look. We're over 10,000 feet now. Don't know what I'm on. Climbed 13,000. So, in the bottom left, yes, our airspeed is now increasing from uh, 250 knots to go up to 320. And that's all because of the auto throttle on the uh, dashboard, which was that button right there. So, that's controlling us to get to there. And the autopilot is taking to where we want to be. So this is all very, very easy to fly, I think, so far. Let's switch back to the external view. The plane's starting to bang around to the left a little bit now, so that's the, um, yeah, that's that little piece there. And that means we should be above Shrewsbury. Yes, and there it is. There is Shrewsbury. Look at that. So... <coughs> Obviously, there's the curve of the river and the town centre. Below us, there is kind of going to be the battlefields and all that sort of area. Um, but that is Shrewsbury. The town of Shrewsbury is there. It's a bit of a cloud obscuring it. But what also you can see there is the lines, and the lines going both ways, and then the this big motorway coming onto the plane there. That motorway is, of course, continued on here. Then there is Telford. Make one tree, you are 1,900 feet above your assigned altitude. Descend and maintain 11,000 feet altitude. And the Wellington area. And move into Telford, Telford Town Centre, Stafford Park, uh, Halesfield, Sutton Hill. Uh, my house is uh, kind of not built, I think, here, but I think it's somewhere. Make one tree, here. please acknowledge. Somewhere around that area. Uh, radio is shouting at me. What do you want? Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Descend to maintain 11,000 feet. Nick okay. one tree. Yeah, we're flying over Talbot still. And, uh, yeah, as I was saying, the town centre, Stafford Park, 
Aylesfield. So the Iron Bridge is kind of down here. I think that might be that specific marker right there. It's saying the Iron Bridge. So yeah, okay. Right, this has dropped to 11,000 feet. So let's just jump into the cockpit. This means we need to actually drop. Let's just drop by 10. I should cover it, I think. No, uh, oh, this is not like dropping. Nick 1 Tree, please expedite your descent 11,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am just in the fair. I'm going down 12 7. There we go, yeah, the shift from there field will be marked. And um, yeah, we're just continuing to head south. Below us there, did some primes. Oh, that's quite a round area there, isn't it? That's quite interesting. Don't know what that hill is, but it's an interesting shape. Should we check that out? Right. Continuing to head south now, and if we check our VFR, might we see we're on the pink line now, and we're heading down towards uh, towards the uh, Bristol. I'm not quite sure if it's Swindon area. Yeah, so we're still flying. Flying is good. Everything's fine. We're dropping down now, nearly eleven thousand feet. Fine. Manchester Center, Nick One Tree requesting vector to next waypoint. Nick One Tree, turn right, heading 170. Proceed on course. <laughs> turn right, heading 170. So you're kind of suggesting I should turn to the right. Turn right, heading 170. Proceed on course, Nick One Tree. Well, I'm just going to let the autopilot do what he wants to do. And I believe at this point, um, we're, we're, we're fine. We're on a straight line. It's all looking good here. Good wish out there. There's a field space. We're traveling at 320 knots, which um, let's have a quick little look. Because I'm recording a video. Oh, right. I'm just 70 miles an hour. Obviously, the thing that real pilots don't have to do is their wife barging in and asking questions at random point of their flight. So, it's a nice little addition to the, uh, to the experience. Um, so, yeah, 370 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. Much faster than obviously a car. Let's say I drop control saying. Um, oh, they're not talking to me. Um, okay. Still at 11,000 feet. VFR map. It's looking all good now, I think. I think we're good. Um, jump to the cockpit view. No. Oh, I tell you what, I should have taken off the other there. Hey guys, you can take your off now. We're cruising at 30,000 feet, everyone. Uh, seatbelts are off. You may go to the toilet and go for a shit if you need to. Good day. I bet there's been some passengers busting to go to the loo just waiting for that light to come off. Going so to one three one probably a bit of a queue zero, right now, I'm just imagining they've got them in their, their socks. Q 
queued up saying, uh, yeah, after you, after you, after you. Well, guys, you've got around 10 minutes, I think. Uh, because as soon as I start to approach this cur uh, curve turn, I'm going to be putting that light back on again, so, you know, just to make everyone aware. That's the key button there, seatbelt's on. What else is there? Well, I'll tell you what else there is. Uh, I don't know what most of these buttons do, but I'll tell you what, what else is quite cool. There's this one. This, this one here. What, what's, uh, what's on the display here? We turn this. Hooray! Puts the lights on. So I can put the lights on for the different dashboard sections. Don't really need it though in the daytime, but certainly in nighttime. Other, other things down here. I don't know where any of these are. Oh, oh yeah, this is an interesting thing. Look at this. My, my co-pilot seat is quite clearly empty. There is nobody there. The straps are uh, loose. They're not connected to anything or anyone. Ryanair three seven zero eight. Contact Birmingham. Approach on one three one decimal zero zero five. Good day. And then take a look. Oh my god, look at that. There is quite clearly me in the pilot seat and the co-pilot sat there. Like, you can clearly see the co-pilot sat there on the right. Which is very freaky, because yeah, as I say, it's just in the cockpit view inside. There's nobody there! What the hell? Is he some kind of ghost or what? Getting fairly close now, and uh, air traffic control suggesting we contact London. Okay, acknowledge hand off. Thanks, one one eight decimal for seven five for Nick One Tree. Tune to London. Hey, London. London Center, Nick One Tree, eleven thousand feet. Nick One Tree, London Center altimeter two niner decimal niner two. Continue as planned. Okay, we will continue as planned. Coming up towards that, that turn now. Um, so I wonder if everyone's finished going to the toilet. I can't I can't look around. There's no uh, there's a bunch of shit in the way. So uh, there's a whole load more buttons up there. Fucking hell. Jesus. Well, you know, yeah, just ignore all them key ones at this this section here. Sort of drop this down to zero. Nothing. No changes there right now. All good. Looking out the window, there's some clouds. It's looking okay. We should be good. If I fuck this landing up, I'll be devastated to be honest because the weather's nice, it's daytime. <coughs> it's been a nice flight so far. <laughs> but I tell you, landing in this game. Uh, <laughs> Indeed, and probably in real life, therefore, is a little bit tricky. As long as you get it right, as long as you get all the approach right, it should be fine. But getting that right is it's all about the prep. It's all about getting it right many, many miles away before the runway. Got to line up right, get your ankles right. You know, 20, 40, 60 miles away from the runway. Let's have a look here. No. Okay, we're coming up to the turn. So, uh, hey everyone, it's time to. Uh, if you haven't managed to go to the loo yet, then I'm sorry it's too late. Seatbelts on. Yeah, speaking of going to 
to the loo. Uh, and as the autopilot will take care of the automatic uh, turn towards Heathrow, uh, I am going to take the opportunity to, as the captain of the airplane, aircraft, I'm going to take a little rest break myself. But I'll keep it flying because I'm not faithful to the pilot. should be fine. the opportunity to grab another cold one from the fridge which also is presumably something that real pilots Nick one tree. Did you hear my last transmission? Hello air traffic control are you talking to me? Uh, I acknowledge that. Descend and maintain 11,000 feet Nick one tree. 11,000 feet? Okay yeah we're still on it. Okay let's have a look now. Okay we're on turned and we're looking pretty good. So this is where I know that this starts to fail now. I know for sure that we need to start looking to reduce our height. I always come in too high. So I'm going to drop right down to 2,000 feet. Nick one tree descent and maintain 3,000 feet. Okay, now it's saying 3,000 feet, so yeah, that's, that makes sense. I've had a lot of issues in this in the past where it's kind of been suggesting staying at 11,000 feet right up until about you know, 20 miles from the runway and inexperienced now I haven't flown quite a few flights here. Nick 1 Tree, contact approach on 134 decimal 9 or 8. So, Good day. Going to 1 Tree for decimal 9 or 8 Nick 1 Tree. Approach. approach Nick One Tree is passing 9,900 feet, descending 3,000 feet. Nick One Tree, approach altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2, continue as planned. Yep. In terms of what's below us, I don't know. I don't know many of these areas around here. Angles feel there, strip. Children Park, Aerodrome, let's look at the VFR map. Okay, yeah, we're gonna start. We've still got a, one more little bit of a corner to take. Um, and here we go, we're gonna start to make that bank now. Before lining up with the runway he threw. Charlie Hotel Tango. Okay, great. Sounds good. Knowledge. 
Keep speed not above 220 knots. Expect ILS runway 09 or left approach via Charlie Hotel Tango transition. Clear to Charlie Hotel Tango, Nick One Tree. Should say 3,000, but uh, going in low than that seems a little bit hazardous. Uh, let's just adjust that to 3,000. There we go. And, uh, you know. Okay, 2,000. Two thousand seven hundred, two thousand eight hundred approaching. We're we'll okay here. We're going back up to three thousand. That makes sense. Okay, next one will be. Okay, I think we're starting to see Heathrow in the distance there, aren't we? That looks like it. Look at that. That looks like it. There's a runway. There's a new runway. Okay, we're looking good. I think. Oh, what's this? Is that Winter Castle? Bouncing out of the uh, the environment there, I think it is. Um, okay, so what we know now then is as we're approaching, well, it's getting a bit cloudy, but as we're approaching, um, we're we're on the line. But I think from what I can see of that runway, is, is we're, we're not quite in line. Yet, so. At some point, I'm going to grab manual control. Uh, I'm just going to wait for these clouds to pass over right now because they're kind of in the fucking way, basically. Uh, let's just switch to internal view. Everyone, you've got your seatbelts on. Let's just check that. Yes. Okay. Uh, so. So let's make an announcement to the passengers. Bing bong. Hello everyone, we're coming in to land shortly at Heathrow. Please make sure you are strapped in. And uh, all your baggage is stowed. And um, yeah, you know. Be prepared for a crash landing. If, if, if it happens, it won't happen, but you know, just be prepared in case. Thanks, everyone. Ping pong. Oh, shit, look at that. Like, we're quite high already, so okay. I'm going to switch to manual control at this point. Um, I'm going to switch off autopilot and auto control. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, computers. Here we go. I'm taking control from this point. We're a bit high, we're coming in high, so I'm going to drop, kill the engines, engines down to zero. Come on, 
coming in. There we go, coming in now. See that we're, we're a little bit off to the left and we need to come over, I think. But I'm a little bit scared of the maybe crosswinds Who's and that? stuff, so you know, maybe the computer's done this for a reason. Uh, okay, what I've learned also is those four white lights. See those four white lights there? That means we're too high. One tree. You are 1,000 feet below your assigned altitude. Climb and maintain 3,000 okay, feet. Flaps altimeter up. two minor decimal minor two. Over speed. Coming down. Over speed. Over Slow speed. High. Over speed. Over speed. But, but we're Over okay. Speed. We're okay. Over speed. Drop the landing gear. Over speed. Okay, landing gear is coming down. Okay. Over speed. We're looking good. Over we're looking good. We're still a bit high, but we're not good. Nick one tree, please acknowledge. More flaps. Over speed. Air travel control, I don't have time to speak to you right now. Coming in. Coming in a little bit fast, but uh, the control is shaking, but we should be okay. The snake of the altitude. Run everyone. Down a bit more. Down a bit more. Down a bit more. Okay, hit the reverse thrusters. Reverse thrusters. I think I've done it. I think I've done it. Brakes. Brakes. Oh, shit. Slide off the runway. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna hit the buildings. No. Keep turning. Keep turning. Oh, we did it. We landed safely. Fantastic. We did it. We landed. And we're safe. Okay, we might not be in the exactly the right place, but, but any landing that you can walk away from is a good landing. Change the ground. Request taxi to parking. Ground Nick One Tree Taxi to parking. Nick One Tree Taxi to General Aviation Parking. The taxiway Mike Lima, 2 Tree Lima, 2 1 Bravo Foxtrot Golf. Okay. Knowledge. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Mike Lima 2 Tree Lima 2 1 Bravo Foxtrot Golf Nick 1 Tree. Okay, we need to, we need to head this way it seems. So, uh, let's kind of go this way. Take a shortcut and go all the way around that way. Okay, the key thing is to aim up with that one right, that one uh, path here. So, let's swing the engine towards. Kill the engine again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go. Uh, 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 oh, fuck that. There's a plane now. Jesus, there you go. Shit! 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 Oh, fucking hell! I can't believe it, man. My flying's okay, but my taxiing's bullshit. I've just driven into a load of buildings and crashed and killed everyone. Cheers, everyone. Goodbye.